Hi, hello, here's my presentation and I'm going to teach you guys how to play a glockenspiel. Hopefully you learned something. I'm not a good teacher or a good person at explaining things. So, this is the glockenspiel. It is a part of the percussion family. Um, it is mainly like, it is related to the marimba, vibraphone, and xylophone. You probably have only heard of a xylophone. I could play all because I'm, I'm a percussionist, a pit percussionist. And, um... So, this is the easiest thing. You probably recognize what this sounds like. Yay! Oh my god. So hard. No, it's actually easy. Okay. Like, you just hold the mallet and bring it across. Okay. Anyways. This is how you hold the mallet. Don't forget your posture. Your posture is very important. Just keep your back straight. And you, the way you hold your hand is also pretty important. I'll teach you guys right now. I'm not going to teach you guys music. Hard work. So, I'm only going to teach you what's on the staff. So, the, the lines and the spaces. Oh, this is a treble clef. This little symbol here. And the lines and the spaces. That is considered a music staff. So, yeah. Okay, so. Please ignore my crusty nose and my crusty voice. I'm kind of nervous. So, the first line is E. Every. You could remember it like that. Okay, so. Let's just teach you the lines first, I guess. The first line is E. Second line is G. Third line is B. Fourth line is D, and last line is F. Every good boy does fine. E, G, B, D, F. Okay, there you go. And you have the notes right there. That's another scale I'm going to teach you. Um, okay, so now the spaces. The first space is F, second space is A, third space is C, and last space is E. F, A, C, E, face. Yay, you did it. Yay, we did it. There you go. Easy, right? Okay. So now, so holding the mallet. Hold your mallet like this. It's very important. If you hold your mallet like this, look how I'm gonna hit. The harder you hit, your finger will go back and it will just break. So that's why you wanna hold your mallet like this. So when you're playing, it should look like this. But the angle you're gonna see it from, it's gonna look kind of like whack. There you go. Anyways, um, yeah, so. Let me teach you. So this is F natural all the way to F natural. This is F sharp all the way to B flat. So yeah. Um, what else? So the only notes we're gonna be playing is I'm gonna be using is C, low C to high D. C D E F G A B C D. There you go, perfect. Yay. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna put my phone down. Um, remember, have a good posture. Hold your mouth right. Been playing since seventh grade, and I don't know why I'm so nervous. Hopefully, you guys can see. Ah! Okay, there we go. So you have to alternate your sticks. Alternating your sticks is very important. So hopefully, you can see. This is my favorite technique. It's a row. It sounds super cool and super fun. So. Hold your mallets. If you hold them like this, you're more likely to break your fingers. So hopefully you can see how I'm holding my mallets. Let's see. I think hopefully you can see. As you can see, I do not stick on my finger because you're not supposed to. I don't want my finger to break. And that was the easiest C major skill. And if it was a little too fast, I'm sorry. Um, I'll play it slower. Super sorry, I played the harder one. It's only one more note, so it's okay though. Um, yeah. So what I would recommend is just kind of like for every note you hit. So let's say you're gonna start with your left hand, go on to your right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then here is our C major scale. Very easy too. And I'm gonna need you to alternate your hands here. So, you know, alternate, beautiful. So this is from C all the way to high D, low C to high D. 
honestly this is my favorite it sounds super cool and super nice so yeah hopefully you'll learn something okay there we go so i hope you were able to learn from the last one this time i'm going to try something different i'm going to start off with one hand and kind of so i'm going to start off with my right hand i'm only going to play with my right hand this time and then i'll play with my left hand next time or with my both hands yay that was beautiful oh and if you don't want the glock and shoulder ring it's kind of like this lay your hand on it softly yeah and now we're gonna play low c to high b with our hands alternating and honestly a rolling is just i'm gonna let me see what's no, this is close to no um so basically you just call, kind of alternate the mallets like this no, see. um bts army bomb according to my friends i'm broken this is my bts army bomb so yeah this is basically just alternating your hands and you know yeah. based maybe from the angle you're from you probably can't really tell sorry i don't know how to record um but it's okay yeah so that's kind of it for today um if we ever get to make another project like this hopefully i get to use my marimba or vibraphone it's at school so i can't really call it mine but yeah thank you for watching you were probably forced to most likely obviously you were so yeah have a good day thank you